Share mo by the voice means standing out in the local Philippine market other than those tons of marketing stunts and shenanigans. These guys really have something to brag about. Just this year, we have seen tons and tons of devices coming from them. Windows Android hybrids, camera-centric smartphones, smartwatches, action cameras. The variation is busting off the roof. And as if we weren't impressed enough, Chair Mobile now released not only its best smartphone yet, but probably a first in the industry, the Chair Mobile M1, a smartphone on steroids. Too much for an intro, eh? Well, the spec sheet really made us thrilled. And who wouldn't be? To name a few items on the list, we have a processor with 10 cores, 4GB of RAM, we also have a fingerprint scanner, 21 megapixel Sony sensor, and USB Type-C. But the catch is, this thing is a 11,999 smartphone, which is a bit hard to swallow for a locally branded device. In this review, we'll see if the steep asking price is really justifiable or not. I have to say it this early, an 11999 price is really not that much to ask for what this thing can offer. But the thing is, for a smartphone manufacturer to offer such powerful device, they are required to cut some corners. And in the build department is where they evidently did it. Just like most smartphones on its category, the M1 is constructed with plastic. But also, just like most of its competitors, the cheap construction is forgivable thanks to its well-appreciated design and method of utilizing it. The device feels good in the hands thanks to its lightweight profile and ergonomically curved sides. The M1 also looks admirable thanks to its stealthy black color with a touch of pseudo-luxury with gray tinted sides that made it look wrapped in metal. The back panel also has this fake brushed metal look which doesn't make it look too boring despite the downcast tint. The Cherry Mobile M1 still has that sleek contour despite the large Fablet-like 5.5-inch profile. What we have here is a sharp 5.5-inch IPS Full HD display, which has a 1920x1080 resolution with 420 pixels per inch, all safely covered and laminated by Asahi glass. Screen quality is something to be expected. It is sharp as hell, which makes every detail in videos or games pop and reading small text characters pleasing in the eyes. Contrast is impressive and the saturation is also imposing. However, I think colors are a bit exaggerated, which makes it look artificial at times. Screen brightness is also sufficient and there's a wide field of view, which makes it really usable outdoors. Multimedia experience is not complete without an audio output. The M1 has a front-facing mono speaker. Nope, not stereo like what it seems to look like, as the one at the top is actually just for calls. The one at the bottom is the only thing that does the job, which offers a disappointing quality and volume. The good thing is that it is placed at the front so we can fully utilize its inferior quality. And also, there's an LED notification indicator at the top for those who are curious. Cherry Mobile was really able to cope up in today's latest trend in smartphone technology and it is evident on the M1. First, the device sports a USB Type-C connector, which definitely makes this device future-proof. However, we still aren't seeing a lot of USB-C devices around, so you might want to give an extra care to the included USB cord, which has the same quality with the lightning cable packaged with Apple devices, because you might really have a hard time finding a replacement. The second evidence is the inclusion of a fingerprint scanner. Cherry Mobile came a long way from the sensor of the flare selfie. The said feature here is far more accurate and fast. The scanner is situated conveniently at the back, where your index finger usually rests. It also works even when the display is off, and the setup is fairly easy thanks to Marshmallow's integration of fingerprint scanners. You can store up to 5 different prints on the settings. The left side has the lock and power switch under the volume controls. The buttons feel a bit mushy, but still quite tactile. But at the right side, we see a single bay for two nano SIM cards, which are both capable of connecting to 4G LTE networks. Other than the slots for two SIM cards, we aren't seeing anything that could cater an expandable storage, which means you are stuck with its 32GB of onboard memory, with 24.95GB usable. And now we lead to the main event of this review. As what I've said earlier, the main stunner of the Cherry Mobile M1 is its rib processor. What we have here is MediaTek's Helio X20 chipset. 
a chip that has a decacore processor which consists of three clusters, which, as what MediaTek's website says, are smart enough to distinguish what cluster is needed to utilize based on workload, thus making it battery efficient. The SoC also has a 4GB of RAM and the Mali T880 graphics card. With that said, processing power is really basic. The device can unsurprisingly nade every game available in the Google Play Store, from the graphing intensive titles to apps that are CPU hungry like the Roller Coaster Tycoon. Each gameplay was seamless with no visible frame drops. Brushing through the home screen and other day to day tasks was also seamless, thanks to its unnecessarily large 4GB of RAM. Switching between applications are butter. On the downside, the chipset tends to overheat easily, which isn't really surprising considering the number of cores that is inside it. Also, another drawback of having way too many cores is battery consumption. MediaTek's battery saving technology and Android Marshmallow's dose feature may have done all they can, but we're still seeing a pretty uninspiring result. We have a large, non-removable 3600mAh battery that is powering the M1, which is actually really surprising to know considering how light the device is. But going back, Unlike the moderate usage with casual web browsing via 4G LTE and sending receiving SMS, the device was able to last me for about one whole day, that is 8 hours before the device got to 15%, an optimal battery percentage to recharge. But during my stress test, which consists of non-stop gaming and streaming videos online, the battery only lasted for almost 3 hours, that is 1 hour shy in our usual 4 hour passing mark. But to compensate the poor battery performance, the M1 offers fast charging via its USB Type-C module, although for this feature to work, you should only use the included power adapter, as I have also tried it using a different one and the charging time is significantly slower. Plugging the device using the included charger had the device back to 100% for more or less than 1.5 hour. Cherry Mobile also towed in a 21 megapixel Sony IMX230 sensor for its primary camera, and a basic 8 megapixel front-facing one, both are sporting LED flash. The shooter at the back can surely produce amazing photos. The dynamic range is just impressive. The sky on a bright shiny day is still full in detail without leaving the shadow areas completely dark. Contrast is also good and saturation is impressive without any evidence of post-processing. The colors pop naturally. Depth of field is middling, while sharpness and details are crispy as expected for a 21 megapixel sensor. However, I have noticed that shutter speed is slow, even at good lighting scenarios, which results in the photos being blurry. It can also record videos of up to an impressive 4K resolution, but don't expect the same quality with those actual 4K cameras. The quality of the photos is the same as with the videos, which still makes it favorable. The front-facing camera also delivered impressive results. Photos have good details and colors. The quality is comparable to even some of other devices' primary cameras. This thing is perfect for selfies and video calls. And before we forget, the M1 is being run by the best from Google, which is the Android Marshmallow 6.0. The latest and greatest from Android brought all of its goodness in this device. The revamped interface aesthetics, app search bar, memory manager, battery optimizations, fingerprint support, Google Now on top, and much more are present here. So, what are my thoughts? Well, the Cherry Mobile M1 is the best and probably the most high-end device that the company has ever made, at a price tag that is still relatively cheaper than most smartphones in the market. The large and sharp display is pleasing in the eyes, the fast and accurate fingerprint scanner is dependable, the overall form factor in build feels nice in the hands, the capable set of camera secures every moment captured, Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and of course, a real processor that nails everything from day-to-day -day tasks to high-end games. But not everything on this device is tip-top. The non-removable battery delivers an inspiring performance, and the omitted expandable storage can be a deal-breaker. But other than those minor complaints, I can't think of any more reason not to recommend this for anyone who is looking for a good and superior device. The Cherry Mobile M1 is a monster of a smartphone, which makes it probably the best smartphone we've seen in the local market. This has been my biggest full review of the Cherry Mobile M1. For more detailed look about this device, make sure to check out the full written review link below. You may also hit the thumbs up button and share this video if you liked it, and also subscribe if you still haven't. Thank you for watching.